Hello and welcome to my Fit Before 50 IGTV series. This is episode eight, why home devices, AKA home therapies. So over the few years, I have made some small investments in some home devices so that I could speak educationally to you about what you could be doing at home in between your treatments. So if you're interested to hear about what I have to say, what I'm using, keep on watching. Okay, so we have a lot to cover, so let's get down to it. So I've narrowed it down to three different devices, aka home therapies. The first one being microcurrent. I do microcurrent in my treatment room, and microcurrent is a painless and non-invasive way to stimulate the muscles in your face. So microcurrent actually mimics the body's own natural current. The one that I use is by New Face. This is their New Face Mini. These are spheres. And there's different settings, low, medium, high. And ideally you want to do this for, ideally you want to use it daily. And I would say it takes me about 10 minutes tops, five minutes per side, depending on how many different motions you're doing. And the, the box will give you a diagram as to where you should place it on the muscles on your face and what direction. So you do get a lot of information with the mini. They have larger sets and they have even tinier ones. I felt the mini was the best, gives you the best value because you can take, you can cover a lot of surface area with the mini that you would if you had like the big system, which I think is like, God, four or $500. So it's a little bit more expensive. Anyway, so microcurrent actually helps to charge up a high energy molecule in our skin called adenosine triphosphate. I'm going to refer to that as ATP going forward. ATP is kind of like the life source for the cells in our body. And life source, or excuse me, and this ATP can actually store this energy for us. It can bank it. So the more you use this, the better off you're going to be as far as firming the muscles in your face. It's kind of like using a dumbbell for your bicep. You have to use it on a regular basis in order to see results. So it does take some time, but you will see results. And the idea behind using this every day is that I'm obviously recharging that battery. And in turn, what I'm going to get is that I'm going to increase the collagen production in my skin about 10%. I'm increasing circulation in my skin, in my face by about 35%, which that means I'm getting all these nutrients that I need to the right places in my body and my face. So yes, over time, it does have longer term results. So I highly recommend microcurrent. That is my first go-to. Okay. Okay. The next thing that I really, really recommend doing and that I use on a regular basis, this one I probably do more like once a week, is cosmetic needling. This is a derma roller. This one is by Prosper Beauty. I did buy this on Amazon. This, one of the things you want to look for if you're going to get into cosmetic needling at home is that you want to make sure your roller uses titanium for their needles. And for the face, you really only need about four to 600 needles in a roller. That's it, that's plenty. And then you're gonna start with a shorter one, meaning this one I think is, yes, 0.25. That's plenty. You could do a 0.2, 0.25, or 0.3. And the purpose behind cosmetic needling is that we're actually putting little channels into the top layer of our skin. And because it's cosmetic needling, we're not penetrating all the way down to the dermis because this will only get to about halfway down the epidermis. However, you're opening these channels up so that your products will penetrate that much better and work more effectively for you. So this doesn't necessarily, this, this depth will not increase collagen production. However, it's still beneficial. So 0.5 millimeters or longer, that is called microneedling and that is where you actually get to the dermis and you will start stimulating collagen production at that level but not that you can't do a 0.5 millimeter at home you can that would be the longest i would do at home i wouldn't do any longer than that do your research make sure you know what you're putting on your face i don't micro need i don't cosmetic needle anything in my skin i only cosmetic needle on a clean face the only thing i apply after is a high molecular weight hyaluronic acid serum. That's what I use. Now I have a micro needling video. I would highly recommend you go check that out because that 
this could be its own video on its own and it gets very involved but i'm using it to really get more out of the products that i'm using because i believe in product first before doing anything more invasive so that are my thoughts on cosmetic labeling my third and final home remedy is or home device is my led mask i know she's gonna look hella scary <laughs> Uh, however, <laughs> super beneficial. So LED means light emitting diode, which is a small light bulb that when current is emitted through it, it casts different colors of light. And each light has emits different wavelengths that penetrate the skin at different depths. And when they do that, they do different processes in the skin. So this particular light therapy mask I got from I had my husband buy me from Amazon. This was $130, I believe. This one has seven different lights, but I'm only gonna talk about the four core colors, which is red, blue, yellow, and green. Okay, so let's look at red. What does red do for you? Red is gonna actually help stimulate collagen production, and it also adds elasticity to those collagen fibers. Big win-win. Um, blue is actually going to create an oxygen rich environment to kill off P. acne's bacteria. So if you have, you suffer from acne, that would be a good way to help minimize the spread of more bacteria on your skin. Green helps to minimize hyperpigmentation and dark circles under the eyes and yellow helps with redness and inflammation. So those are the four colors. So I often do recommend, depending on my guest's skin, that they look into LED light therapy more for hyperpigmentation because that's so hard to reverse and definitely for acne. It's a great way to treat acne. I think when I was growing up, actually I know when I was growing up, I actually did get light therapy. I had horrible acne as a teenager, mainly from my asthma medication that I was taking. So I've outgrown all of that, thank God. Um, but I do remember getting light therapy. So it's really easy to do. Honestly, it's so relaxing. I put my feet up at night. I turn it on. This little control will give me my options as far as the color. Once it's turned on, it gives me 20 minutes. I choose the color. So sometimes I'll switch back and forth between red and green are the two that I use the most. And then you can also shorten the time. The longest time is 20 minutes. So I usually just do 20 minutes. And you can also, the, the um, power, like you can go up to five, I think one to five strength as far as the light emitting through. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to DM me. This could probably be its own video too, which maybe I'll do down the road. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.